I'm here with a legend in his own time, Mr. Ray Bradbury, a man who has accomplished such magnificent works as The Illustrated Man, Something Wicked This Way Come, The uh, Martian Chronicles. After all this time, and in view of the fact that we have a celebration here tonight for new writers, what advice would you want to give to new writers starting out? Oh, the same advice I took from others when I was young. Fall in love and stay in love and do what you love. And that's a, a good life, isn't it? If you just, uh, I fell in love with science fiction when I was eight. The architectures of the future I saw on the covers of the science fiction magazines. The World's Fairs I went to, which illustrated those science fictions in architecture. So I began to write when I was 12, and I wrote every day of my life, but I always wrote about things I cared about. Landing on the moon, colonizing Mars, uh, going with John Carter various places, swinging with Tarzan in the trees. So I never gave up on those loves, and as a result, I've had a good life. So that's the best advice you can give to a writer. Don't write for money, write out of love about something that you really care about, and that way you're gonna do good work. I know that you're uh, uh, a person that likes to help young writers yourself, uh, similar to L. Ron Hubbard and other authors that are trying to give these new writers a break in a world that can be less than kind to the artist. Why do people such as yourself want to do this? Well, you have to pass on the gift. Uh, other people influenced me when I was 18 and 19. Henry Kuttner was one of my teachers, a friend. Lee Brackett, Edmund Hamilton. Uh, they all influenced me and put up with me. So therefore, now that I'm older, I have to do the same thing for kids who are coming up. Otherwise, I'd feel guilty, wouldn't I? I'd feel terrible. And, and anyway, it's fun. If you find a really good, talented young person, as I discovered, uh, 25, 30 years ago, Charles Beaumont, who was a, just a kid, about 22 years old, showed me his first short story. I said, that's wonderful. So it was very easy to help him because he was helping himself and he was full of, of pomegranate seeds. <laughs>